You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our Welcome to This House of Books, With a Cup of Tea. We have with us today, Dr. Teresa Neal, and she has uh, a new book out that uh, we're going to talk about. But first of all, maybe uh, I'd like to just ask you a little bit about yourself. Uh, where are you from? Uh, what's your background? Okay, well, I grew up in northern Wyoming and went to the University of Wyoming, where I did my undergraduate degree in American Studies and English Education. Um, I taught in Wyoming for a while, and then I wanted to go uh, work on my master's degree. So I went out to LA, to the University of Southern California, and completed not only a master's, but also uh, stayed for my uh, PhD. Then I uh, got married and moved to Colorado and taught in the Denver uh, public school area or Denver area public schools. Um, I taught international baccalaureate classes, AP classes and regular classes. Um, and then after my husband passed, I decided to move to Montana to be closer to family. Um, ended up in Billings for about three and a half years. Made a lot of friends, really enjoyed my time there. But then uh, just recently, I decided to move back to Wyoming, a different town. But basically, it's where uh, my grandfather, great-grandparents um, homesteaded. So I have a lot of family history here and it, it does feel like home, so. Okay, now uh, you were telling me a little bit earlier about your book and saying that it was inspired by an experience that you had uh, as a caregiver for someone who uh, was ill. Well, the, no, the book originally was inspired um, by this theory of knowledge class I was teaching in the International Baccalaureate. And I was telling friends in Billings that I really missed teaching it because I love that class so much. It's, it was a class where we analyzed how we know what we know. And um, as I was explaining it to my friends, they said, oh, I'd love to take that class. And, it, and many of the, my students' parents, when I was trying to explain to them what theory of knowledge class was all about, said, ooh, I want to take that class. Could you teach it? And at that time, I was so busy. I just thought, someday, maybe. So, well, then someday came, and here's my friends wanting to take it. So that's what, I, that's what started this book. Um, but it takes a shift from studying how we know what we know to how where thoughts come from and how they impact our lives and that part shift was 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 the secondary thing that i was telling you about of being a caregiver for uh, someone with cancer and trying to hope to find answers and the answers were really you know there is food there is exercise and of course medicine but by the time you get to the point this person was in in terms of health um, you know, it was basically too late. So the best answer is to start early, eating the right foods, exercise, supplements, and um, reduce stress. Stress causes so many illnesses. How do you reduce stress? You control your thoughts, you control your behavior, and you can't really control your behavior until you can control your thoughts. So the book switched from that focus on knowledge to focus on thoughts. Okay, and this this uh, this uh, the, the the prescription that you have applies both to uh, the, the for instance the person who has cancer as well as to the caregiver. Is that right? Right. I don't address anyone with an illness directly in the book. It's more of a preventive idea. So, and and being a caregiver is difficult. My health took a dive from all the hours that I and the stress. And um, while I was trying to find ways to help the person I was helping, I ended up learning that I needed to take care of myself and any stressful situation. And then I looked around at all my friends who also could use some of these ideas. And um, therefore that's 
well, I got book transitioned into somewhat of, a, of an angle on health. It doesn't directly address health other than helping your health by controlling your thoughts. Okay. And controlling your thoughts is a little harsh. It's more like becoming conscious of your thoughts to understand why they're impacting your health and your life and your behavior. Okay. All right. So um, this book would be directed at a wide variety of people. Um, yeah, when I, when I share with people, I tell them, you know, this is not a page turn. It's not to me be meant to be read, sit down and read it cover to cover. It's full of 49 thought exercises. I think it, if I counted them correctly, each chapter has at least one or two um, thought exercises where you sit down and think about what I was discussing and how do you apply it to your, your life? How do you bring your, your thoughts to the conscious level where you can make a difference in and how you live your life, how your thoughts impact you. The first step is becoming conscious of them. And that's how the, this is arranged to do that. Okay. So um, maybe a thought, I'd be, I, I wrote it to be very readable. And so I think that's why a couple of uh, people have said it's, you, you could just sit down and just read it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it, it started out to be more academic. And then um, my daughter, who was, was a very smart young woman, said, Mom, you've got to reach the audience you want to reach. You're going to have to change your writing style. So I wrote it more. I, I did. I went back and rewrote the first few chapters so that it would be more readable. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Well, Teresa, I really appreciate you joining us today and uh, talking about your book. And uh, we'll, we'll hope to see you at the bookstore sometime in the near future. You bet. And um, I do hope everybody enjoys reading it and would love to hear responses back from my Billings friends. Okay. Thank so you. Long. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.